In this section, we want to look at a second method of measuring angles, and it's with radian measure. Now, radian measure is defined in terms of a circle with a radius of r, and then angle theta here is a central angle in that circle. So if theta is a central angle in a circle with radius r, and theta cuts off an arc of length s, then the radian measure of theta is the arc length s divided by the radius r. Now imagine if this circle had a radius of 1, and theta went through one complete rotation here, so it cut off an arc equal in length to the circumference of the circle. Well, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. If r is 1, that's just 2 pi. So I would have 2 pi divided by the radius, which is 1. So once around the circle in radian measure is 2 pi radians. So we say 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. Now I can divide both of these by 2, and I end up with pi radians is 180 degrees. Pi over 2 radians would be half of that, or 90 degrees. So here are our basic uh, conversions between radians and degrees. We'll use this one most often. Pi radians and 180 degrees are exactly the same thing. So one is in radian measure, one is in degree measure. Let's go to the board now and do some of these conversions. Let's convert 260 degrees into radians. So I'm going to take 260 degrees and change it to 260 times pi over 180. So 260 times pi over 180. Now I'll reduce this to lowest terms. I can divide out, divide each of them by 10. And the, let's see, 2 divides into there 13 times. 2 divides into there 9 times. I end up with 13 pi over 9. So this is the radian measure for an angle of 260 degrees. Now on a calculator, I can take 13 times pi, divide by 9, and get a decimal approximation to this, which is about 4.54, 4.54 radians. So thir 13 pi over 9 is the exact value of this angle in radians. 4.54 is a decimal approximation to it. Notice when I have degree measure, I have to be showing the little degree symbol right here. When I have radian measure, I can either write RAD for radians afterwards or leave out the units completely. If the units are left out completely, that means that we have an angle measured in radians. Radian measure actually is real number measure. Here's our next example. Here I have 30 degrees, and I want to convert it into radians, so I'll take 30 and multiply by pi over 180. Now when I do that, I'll reduce to lowest terms, and I end up with, let me write it over here, pi over 6, because 30 divides into 180 six times. So pi over 6 radians is the same as 30 degrees. So 30 degrees and pi over 6 radians are the same. Now we can use this one little conversion here and actually find some other ones real quickly. For instance, um, since 60 degrees is twice 30 degrees, 60 degrees in radians will just be twice pi over 6. So I'll just take this pi over 6. Since 2 times 30 gives me 60, 60 degrees in radians will be 2 times pi over 6, which is pi over 3. So 60 degrees and pi over 3 are equivalent angles. Now if I wanted to multiply 30 degrees by 3, I'd end up with 90 degrees. So I can convert to radians by just taking this pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, multiplying it by 3, and I end up with pi over 2. And then if I wanted to multiply this by 4, I'd get 120 degrees. So 4 times pi over 6, 120 degrees, and that's 2 pi over 3. So uh, there's a lot of conversions that will take place more naturally here after we have a couple of these uh, uh, memorized. For instance, 30 degrees and pi over 6 are the same thing. 60 degrees and pi over 3 are the same thing. 90 degrees and pi over 2. And then, of course, 180 degrees and pi radians are the same. So we'll have a few of those in mind, and then it's easy to get a few other ones from that. Here's our next problem. This time I want to convert 2 degrees from radians. So 10 pi over 6, that's an angle measure in radians. So I'm going to convert to degrees by taking 10 pi over 6 and multiplying by 180 over pi degrees. Now when I do that, I can divide these out, and let's see, 6 into 180, that'll be 30 times 30 times 10, 300. So 300 degrees is the same as 10 pi over 6. And remember before we said pi over 6 was 30 degrees, so 10 times 30 degrees is 300 degrees, so this conversion process works um, well either way. Now when I want to convert from radians to degrees, I multiply by 180 over pi. When I want to convert from degrees to radians, I multiply by the reciprocal of that pi over 180. Here's our next problem. 
pi over 12? Well, let's see, pi over 12, that would be half of pi over 6. If pi over 6 was 30 degrees, this is going to come out to be 15 degrees. But let's actually go through the conversion process. Pi over 12 times 180 over pi degrees. These will divide out, and then let's see, uh, 12 divides into that yep, 15 times. I end up with 15 degrees for the degree equivalent of pi over 12 radians. So pi over 12 radians and 15 degrees are the same thing. Here's our next problem. 5. Well, 5 with no degree or anything written, I know it's angle measure, it must mean um, radians. So no units showing its radians. So I'm going to take this 5 and I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi degrees. So that's 5 times 180 divided by, by pi. I'll actually do this on a calculator. It's 5 times 180 divided by, by pi, and I end up with 286.5 degrees. 286.5 degrees. So 286.5 degrees is the decimal approximation to 5 radians. Now, as far as radian measure is concerned and degree measure is concerned, you can draw a little coordinate system in over here. Um, this 0 degrees and 0 radians are the same thing. 90 degrees and pi over 2 radians are the same. 180 degrees and pi radians are the same. And then 270 degrees and 1, 2, 3 pi over 2 radians are the same. And then, of course, over here, 360 degrees, if I went through one complete rotation, and 2 pi radians are the same. So pi over 2 and 90 degrees, same thing. Uh, 180 degrees and pi measure the same angle right here. If I went to 30 degrees, that's pi over 6. Uh, 60 degrees is pi over 3. 45 degrees would be pi over 4. This is pi over 2. 45 degrees is going to be halfway in there. That would be pi over 4. Okay, let's take this information now about radians and see if we can find the exact values of some trigonometric functions. For problem 6, let's find the tangent of pi over 6. Well, let me use an identity here and write this as sine pi over 6 over cosine pi over 6. Well, pi over 6 is 30 degrees, we know that, so sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Cosine of 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2, so 1 half divided by square root 3 over 2 is 1 over square root 3. So there's the exact value of tangent pi over 6, and I'm, I've got these uh, exact values memorized here for sine and cosine of 30, 45, and 60. Now I know that pi over 6 radians is the same as 30 degrees, so I'll just think in terms of degrees, even though I've got radians written down here. Here's our next problem. Cosecant 5 pi over 6. Well, let's see. I'm not too sure about cosecant, so let's write this reciprocal relationship, 1 over sine of 5 pi over 6. Now that's going to be 1 over, let's see, sine of 5 pi over 6. I better draw a coordinate system over here and see about a reference angle. Let's see, 5 pi over 6. Well, uh, this is 0 radians. This is pi over 2 radians. This is pi radians, and pi radians would be 6 pi over 6 radians. So I must be looking at an angle that's just up from pi. So this is 5 pi over 6. The reference angle that's inside here, the reference angle, is pi over 6. So let's see if we can do this. Sine of 5 pi over 6, well, it terminates in quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, sine is positive. Let me just put a plus sign in there to show that I found that. And the reference angle is pi over 6. So I know that the sine of 5 pi over 6 and the sine of pi over 6 differ at most in their algebraic sign. And I know since I'm in quadrant 2 here, my trigonometric sign is positive. The algebraic sign of it is positive. So that's 1 over sine of pi over 6 is the same as the sine of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. 1 divided by 1 half comes out to be 2. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this problem. Some people like to take 5 pi over 6 and convert it to degrees right away. If pi over 6 is 30 degrees, 5 times that will be um, 150 degrees. And so then you would have your reference angle over here would be 30 degrees. The 5 pi over 6 is 150 degrees, and we would get the same thing here. So a combination of using my reference angles, my new definition for radian measure, and some of my old identities.